Dreamers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look right here. I am using a very expensive palette. This is the Pat McGrath Mothership Palette Volume 5. I know this came out a while ago, but I got this as a gift from my girlfriend and I really wanted to do a video using this palette. I decided to film this video with some of the most expensive products I have in my collection. I don't really splurge a lot on expensive products. So it was kind of difficult to find products that um, are different. I use a lot of the same products, especially the expensive ones, over and over again. You've probably already seen it on my channel a couple of times, but nonetheless, I still wanted to do this video for you guys, and I really hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you guys want to see me create this look right here, then you know the drill. Keep on watching. So as usual, I'm going to start off with the eyes, and we are going in with P. Louise Base. As you all may already know, Pat McGrath came out with a new palette already. Um, so this is definitely an older palette, but nonetheless still so gorgeous and so pretty. So I'm going to put this palette to the test. I've had other um, Pat McGrath's palettes before, the, the smaller one that cost about $65. And they're good, but there's just so many raves about this, how it's so good. So I really want to put it on my eyes and put it to the test. But this palette is really, really heavy, you guys. And I want to go in with a lighter shade, which is going to be this shade right here. This beautiful, like, lighter, dusty pink looking shade. I'm just going to put it up pretty high. Once I put it on my eye, I can see that it is definitely a lot darker than it was on the pan. And I want to go in with this dark purple shade and put that on the outer corners of my eyes. Mm. Alright, so the color is definitely pretty dark. leaning towards this one right here and then I'll also apply some of this um, as well so let's just put this one on the spot um, that is bare on the eyes I'm just going to put that right here oh no it's actually like some yellow specks so glittery and so pretty So putting that right there and then I'm also leaving a little bit of space right there so I can apply another color. Wow, this is gorgeous. Like you would not think that it's this golden color just because on the pan it looks like white. But it is there. And for the outer part here, I'm applying the pink right here actually. So this pink one here, I want to put that a little bit on the outer corner. Okay, oh yeah, you can definitely see the pink right there. Let's move on to the face since we are done with the eyes for now. Go in with the Cover FX Water Cloud Primer. My skin has been so bad. I don't know if it's because the weather is changing. It's definitely getting much hotter here. For foundation, we are going back in with this Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I haven't used this in a while, um, but I do love this. I love this so, so much. It's pretty pricey, but I love it. It just gives my skin such a nice, smooth base. Um, I think I'm actually running out of this because I was using it so much at one time. Definitely like this one better than just the regular Dior Forever foundation. I 
And then for concealer, I am going in with the stick concealer. I've actually had this concealer for a while now. I probably need to like throw it away after this. Um, but this is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. And I'm just going to apply that in the usual spots. I really do like this one, but I just kind of stopped using it. I don't remember why. But, oh! Well, good thing that was the last time I was going to use this. It just gives me a nice, smooth base. Oh, but I love this. It has nice coverage. Like, you could see a cover that pimple that's about to pop up here. It's doing a nice job. So we are going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Powder. We know how pricey this one is, um, but it does last me a really long time, even though it, it already hit pan in the middle. I use this like every day. Not every day, but I use it um, every time I do my makeup. So. And then we are moving on to bronzer. And for bronzer, my favorite, Marc Jacobs, Tentastic, because this is this is the priciest one in my collection. And it also lasts me so long. I've hit pan right here, but like everything else is still, you know, just there. Like <laughs> the product is just still there. You see that? You see that bronziness? For blush, we have the Hourglass Ambient Blush. And I've been using this in a couple of my videos. And I'm sorry I have to use it again, but it is my most pricey blush. It's $40 just for this tiny product. Um, but it is so, so pretty. So, like, I am not mad at it at all. Well, let's just go ahead and quickly finish off the eyes and then we'll go on with the highlighter and lipstick and all of that. with lashes and it is the lily lashes in the style miami and we already know how pricey these lashes are so yeah i'm going to be applying this off camera and i'll be right back okay, so lashes are on we are almost done with this look just highlighter and lipstick left and for my highlighter you've seen this bad boy on my channel this is the benefit cookie highlighter this is 30 dollars. so this is why this is in this video the price for this I'm just really surprised that Benefit, I mean I guess Benefit is pretty pricey in general, just I feel like they do have some quality products. Um, so yeah, I really do enjoy this highlighter, just wow, blinging a little bit on the nose area and on the chin area too. Alright, so for the lips, I wanted to use one that I haven't used before. So this may be cheating a little bit, but it is a tiny baby version of this Pat McGrath lipstick. This is the Matte Trans lipstick in the shade Christy. I really wanted to use this beautiful shade. It's like a nice pinky tone. It's just really pretty. I'm pretty sure Pat McGrath has like a bigger size of this, but I bought these this little kit that has these three little minis. So I just really wanted to use this lipstick. So gorgeous. Um, and we're actually going to finish off with this Lila B Glow Face Mist. This is pretty expensive as well. Alright, and this concludes the video. I really hope you guys like this look. 
Um, I was really excited about this palette and just wanted to create a look using it. I can't wait to use this palette for other looks. I'm just so excited. I love the way it turned out. I love the colors. I really like the way everything turned out and I hope you guys did too. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of my little family here on YouTube. I'd appreciate that so much. But without further ado, I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!